Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to navigate the preview window in your LGP design. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the LGP design, and I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, the navigation is rather simple, but also limited. So if we had to head into the feature here on our drawbar, I'm just gonna do this so we've got a basic grid, click apply, so we can see the grid. Now, first of all, um, all the navigation happens with your mouse. So for zooming in and out, we use our mouse wheel, but you will notice this is opposite to normal. So when you try zoom in, it's gonna zoom out. When you wanna zoom out, it zooms in. So it's a kind of counterproductive, especially if most people's used to a standard. So uh, that is it on uh, zooming. And actual navigation, like panning and that, it does not allow it. At least I could not find any combination of keys and mouse that makes it pan. The best way I got to do that is to zoom out and to zoom in where your mouse cursor is. It's kind of the, the best way I could go about it. Then also if you left click with your mouse and you drag a box, this will zoom to the size of the box. So if you want to zoom in, you can do it this way as well. But it can get a bit confusing seeing that you can't pan. So just make sure you nicely isolate what you'd want to look at. A nice little feature they have that I think is quite useful seeing that there's no pan and that is the right click. So if you right click, it will auto reset the view for you to fit the whole thing within your view. So if you've actually gone too far, then you can simply right click and reset everything, which is rather convenient. But yeah, otherwise that is it on the navigation. So once again, just a quick recap to zoom in and out is your mouse wheel, but it works opposite to what you used to. So zooming out zooms in zooming in zooms out you can um, isolate a piece of your selection by dragging a selection box and then you can right click to reset the viewport um, to fit your your design but yeah that is it like i said on navigation if we had to head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, then we'll do our best to make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.